I thought I'd frame my, my, my opening remarks in uh, a couple thoughts around Trump and, and his, himself, and then what are the prospects for financial regulation to change. Uh, and I thought I'd start with, um, uh, at Davos, I, Larry Summers uh, made this, uh, this quote uh, about Trump. Uh, There's no question that it's sincerity to, imp uh, to improve the American economy. The questions are about the how. And I think, having observed the, the last couple weeks, that to me is really what it's about. He's sort of said uh, a lot of things, he's stirred up a lot of things, but at the heart of it does seem to be a sincerity about trying to either grow American jobs or improving the American economy. Uh, the uncertainty that we all have is how is he actually going to do this. Um, it also appears to me that we uh, should expect he will govern the country as he ran his businesses, um, essentially as a deal maker. Uh, he appears uh, to me to care less about the details of policy if he can convince himself and his supporters that whatever policy he agrees to will advance this central theme that I've been making of it, a goal of increasing GDP and creating new jobs in the United States. Everything seems to be about the deal um, for him. It also appears to me that his cabinet, assuming confirmation of these people, do have very successful backgrounds in, in business. On the surface, having come, uh, being part of business myself, I think I could certainly envisage this being a big positive. Whether it turns out to be a positive, however, will depend on how they navigate the political process within Washington, which a lot of them have had access to but are not necessarily Washington insiders. I think a key difference between running a business and running a country is that the powers of the president are circumscribed by the Constitution of the United States. This is particularly true in the case of the power to make laws. Uh, the president does have a veto pen, but Congress has the drafting pen. Uh, the president will need sometimes to get along with Congress. Um, so that's a, a few thoughts about Trump and, and where he's going. But so what about the prospects for regulation and uh, financial regulation to change? Um, for major changes, particularly possibly uh, major uh, legal uh, law changes, he doesn't have a, votes uh, in the Senate. He does have a majority, but he doesn't have the o over 60 votes. That will constrict him to some degree. The banking industry, other than smaller regional community banks, is still continues to be politically unpopular or politically not necessarily a popular vote getter for, uh, for politicians. Uh, the top priorities uh, that he's, he's t certainly focused on in the first couple of weeks have been Obamacare tax reform and trade. Financial reform, reform has been mentioned, as you mentioned uh, with his comments a couple days ago about Dodd-Frank, but it does at least at this point appear to be fourth in that list. And then finally, the leadership at the key banking uh, agencies uh, will play a significant role in whatever he's able to achieve, and uh, they will turn over a little bit gradually. They're not all turning over immediately. So to, just to conclude my opening remarks, I think for me anyway, what this means is that financial regulation will almost certainly change, but it's possible that the changes uh, will end up more modest and could come more slowly than the rhetoric that he's expressed so far might suggest. 